In this exercise, we will look at a transient response of a bus bar to a high current condition. We will start with importing the bus bar geometry from a step file. We will then clean up this geometry and significantly reduce the mesh. We apply current and voltage boundary conditions so such that uh, 500 amps will be flowing through this bus bar and then we impose convection coefficients uh, in all external surfaces and set the solution mode to non-CFD. We define uh, the transient parameters, uh, the time steps, and perform coupled electrical thermal simulation. After that we look at the results and we will map the results on the original CAD. Okay, we create a model and as always we give it a name, call it bus bar, and save. In the model parameters form, we will change the tolerance to 0 0.1 millimeter, change it to transient, and turn the electrical effects on. Now we go to geometry, import geometry, choose step file, and double click on the bus bar and the bus bar will be loaded in the window. We change the material to copper and we can change the resolution to one millimeter. And now we need to take all of the solids. We don't want to distinguish between the different solids in the step file and convert. This will change the bus bar into electroflow blocks. And we accept that and press done. And that takes us to the electroflow screen. Now we open the mesh form and we can see we have too many elements, over two million. So now let's go to the key plane edit model verification. And we enter uh, 0. Uh, five millimeters for the tolerance. This gives us a way of merging any key plane that's within this tolerance. We say locate, merge, and yes to all so that all of the key planes are merged. Now we can see again in the mesh form and we see we have reduced it to 275,000 which is very manageable. Now let's go and apply some boundary conditions to this problem. First we apply some current boundary condition. We go to the left side and we pick the surface and apply 500 amps going in there and uh, we press apply. Now we can go and apply voltage boundary condition to the other side. So we pick voltage BC and we move down and pick that plane and apply zero volts there. So 500 amps follows through this bus bar. Now let's see, uh, let's apply some convection boundary condition. So in this problem we don't want to run CFD, we'll use convection regions and we define a window around the entire model. So we pick X and Y two from one window and Z, minimum Z from this window and we go to the uh, XY window and we pick the maximum XY and maximum Z and we give it a value of 10. So convection of 10 will be applied to all of the surfaces. Now we go to parameters and we choose our solution parameter and we pick non-CFD because we don't want to run it in a CFD mode and press apply and we set our transient parameters we go from 0 to 30 seconds and we apply it here the interval 0 to 30 and divide it into 20 steps if you wanted more intervals you can put it in the next lines and press apply with that we are ready to run so we run the coupled electrical thermal analysis. The solver window will pick pop up and you can see right there that we have one circuit with 26 uh, 
8,660 elements and uh, the transient uh, run is proceeding and you can see the temperature increases as time goes on and it will run until we reach 30 seconds that is the end time We are getting close and now we have reached the end of the simulation and the result will be loaded into the GUI and let's look at the 3D results. So we make the 3D window bigger and uh, uh, here shows the results on Electroflow blocks. If you wanted uh, to look at this on the original CAD, we click on Draw on CAD button and this will make your 3D result smooth uh, and maps it on the original CAD. And press apply. And as we can see, the results are interpolated and mapped to the original geometry using a three-dimensional algorithm.